Oh, hello. Hello. So, um, okay. I just got done watching, um, Sword Art Online, Al Alicization, uh, War of the Underworld, both parts. I finally got around to watching both parts because I was waiting forever for the dub to be released. And, uh, the website I watched, I watched, uh, the anime on was, it, it was not popping out the fucking dub. And I eventually found out why it was because they stopped recording, uh, halfway through the goddamn, uh, see, uh, yeah, they got, they, uh, they stopped recording halfway through the series. So I was like, you know what? I, I just want to finish this damn anime because I've, I've, I started to rewatch it. I was hoping that, you know, um, the point that my website, the website that I watched it on at, would uh just that was it. That was all I was gonna get. But no, it stopped um midway through its fucking series, and I'm sitting there like, well, why? Where's the rest of the fucking show? I mean, it's been like this for like months now, and the whole fucking series has been released for like who knows how long, and we waited like half a fucking year for the dub to be released and it's not even all done. And I'm just sitting like, you know what? I might as well just finish the anime uh, subbed. And that's what I did. Now, first and foremost, I know what people are going to say that I'm, that I'm, uh, oh, what are you watching it dubbed for? Two reasons. One, I like to understand what people are saying. Two, I do other things amongst other people. No, I get distracted. I wanted to like I want to play games. I want to eat popcorn. I want to socialize. I want to do other things other than watch the anime. I I know it's kind of hard for people to understand that I don't speak Japanese. I don't understand Japanese, but I do enjoy a good fucking anime, you know, if it's properly dubbed and and shit like that. With that being said, I don't particularly hate any anime that is dubbed. Or that is subbed, I should say. Both subbed or dubbed. There are certain anime that I don't particularly uh, am interested in. I mean, I have seen uh, a multitude of animes, such as My Hero Academia, Death Note, um, all the Sword Art Online seasons, uh, Log Horizon, uh, No Game, No Life. And I'm trying to think of some others. Uh, well, that's that's really all that that um came to me from from uh from the top of my head, and there are other animes that I have watched that I absolutely love. Um, Clannad actually, Clannad is is a fantastic example of a really 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 well written story, um, and it it, it is so fucking good. And and there's actually an after fuck uh, th yeah, there's an after story. Um, and it's fantastic. Like I absolutely love it. It's, it's something I didn't exactly expect. Sword Art Online is something very, very different. Sword Art Online was actually the anime that got me into anime. So that was more or less my introduction. So of course I fucking love, um, pretty much everything about it. Now I know what other people are going going to say. Oh, season one sucked. Well, no fucking shit, Sherlock. There was barely any story. Why do you think there's a movie coming out called uh, Sword Art Online Progression, which takes place um, in the eyes of Asuna? Um, uh, so you know we're going to see more of the um, Einkrad arc, at least through Asuna's eyes, and maybe. More of Kirito and uh, some other shit as well. Uh, but you know, besides besides that, this is a review of what I was feeling, at least what I was going through watching Sword Art Online, Alization War of the Underworld. That's a mouthful to say. Um, but as for now, I'm just going to call it the War of the Underworld. And holy fucking crap, this was like, um, I don't want to say it was all over the place because I was more or less sort of spoiled, uh, by all the fucking reports from Google, uh, from the, 
Google Chrome tab that was popping up on on my um on my Chrome that's not showing up here but you know if if I press new tab and shows up like on here's uh, something you can't see it but you know whatever but at the end of the day you know I I was slightly spoiled but I didn't like get entirely spoiled on what was going on through the anime I was expecting Kirito to get up and be Kirito because that's the fucking anime Kirito will overcome pretty much just about anything and it's really really interesting as to how they uh they they did this like and there are going to be some spoilers or at least some minor spoiler minor to major spoilers so if you want to be spoiled I would click off this video and I'm going to be a little short about it so um takes place right after alitization Kirito's mind is kind of fucked up uh because uh bad guys want to inf 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 excuse me infiltrate and steal uh Alice and use her as a weapon um and the whole goal for um Kirito and eventually his friends such as Asuna and everybody else who eventually comes in to help and save the day and stuff like that there's also a, a really really powerful um I, I I say powerful very very vaguely speech from um from one of the characters I can't remember I can't remember her name um fucking pink hair chick I really can't I'm not good at names um or at least side character names and she's not supposed to be side character or well I mean yeah she is but I just can't think of the name like that Elizabeth uh, Elizabeth I was thinking Elizabeth for whatever reason but Lizbeth uh, did a I say powerful speech but yeah it was it was a nice speech you got the crowd all riled up but you know it was more or less uh, her a bunch of the friends and uh, a, a very pleasant surprise from um, the other Sword Art Online movie um, that I cannot remember what it, what it's called but it was um, it was very, very heartwarming to see uh, a character from that movie, or at least the two characters from the movie, the the guy and and the uh, the human, or not not guy the human, uh, the guy and the um, his uh, AI sister sort of that's brought back to life somehow. But um, you know that that was very pleasant to see, very pleasant to watch. Um, he got his little moment. In um uh, in an episode, and that was to me that was really really exciting. I I enjoyed a lot of that. I I really enjoyed all. Uh, it kept me guessing, like the fucking one. Uh, the main bad guy. Oh, I won't say like the main bad guy, but um, I guess one of the main bad guys was the big bad leader of Laughing Coffin. And I didn't realize that until Klein pointed that out. And I was sitting there like, oh, shit, he is. He is the fucking leader of Laughing Coffin. I forgot about that. Um, and I just got done watching SEO Abridged as well. And I, I, I just fucking remembered about that. So I, I can't wait until um, till they, till they uh, do more of that, maybe. I don't know if they're going to get as far to SAO something witty entertainment but i hope they do i i really do because that would be very very interesting to see how they progress with uh with sao at least up to war of the underworld because to me it was very very fantastic um the one gripe i do have is how it ends um to me it felt like i i don't know i mean it felt like it was taking a little while um, get to the ending, and then when it got to the ending, so many things happened at once. It was like, okay, so now what? You know, we're we're coming up on the on the actual ending. Are we going to see? You know, are we, are we going to see Alice reunite with her sister? 
Um, and then what's next? You know, we don't got that much time. Is there another episode? I'm looking for another episode. There's no other episode, and that's it. There's like a gigantic cliffhanger, and it's like, oh, by the way, this is the end. This is the end of the SAO story. Sword Art Online is officially over. This is it. And I'm sitting there like, there ain't no fucking way this is it. How can this be it? You just left it off with a gigantic fucking cliffhanger. And this is it? But of course, there were some magic words saying, Kirito will return. And that got that that gave me some hope. I don't know if it was talking about the the uh, progression movie, um, but I do hope that they make more Sword Art Online series, or at least another Sword Art Online series. Um, not a recap, but at least another adventure. Somehow, some way, another adventure because I really want to see what happens next. You know, it's. It, is it bad to say that I I would love to live in this sort of anime universe with this sort of technology that they have with the fucking, you know, games and then the AI and fucking shit like that? This would be the most perfect fucking anime to live in. And... <clears throat> Or at least the uh, the the world that the anime is set in, it'd be the perfect world to live in, at least for uh, as a gamer wise. Um, but as it relates, somewhat gaming this is the other reason why I'm reviewing this anime in particular, is because it is, I guess, considered the the final anime, or at least the final anime in the main story of Sword Art Online. So will there be? More Sword Art Online shows. I'm sure there will. Because they have Sword Art Online Alternative. GTO. Um, I don't know if they're going to come out with a second season. Uh, I hope they do. And I hope they would make more of them. Because um, that would be really exciting. I, I really hope they make another alternative series. Based in, in another uh, Sword Art Online uh, or type game or something like that. I don't know. I I I I just love this this universe and how uh, these stories are being made and how it's utilizing this this game um, that everybody wishes was more or less of of a reality because virtual reality, believe it or not, is definitely definitely a thing. But we are so 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 far away from the type of technology that is. Being utilized in Sword Art Online. So, it, you know, it's very exciting to see something like that be used. So, what will I rate Sword Art Online, War, War of the Underworld? Um, I will rate it uh, a 10 out of 10. I, I mean, I, don't, I usually don't give 10 out of 10s much, but you know what? It, it's okay. It's okay because it did make me feel feel a lot of fucking things um there like i i i caught myself saying oh and, and uh, i did get teary eyed for a few scenes for a few uh a few, yeah a few scenes so it, it it was uh i don't know i mean it was definitely an anime it, it was uh I don't want to say I struggle to watch, but I mean, certainly something I really, really. So, you know, besides all that, it was very exciting. So what will it go from here? Um, I, I don't know. I, I hope the anime does continue at least with another series or maybe another story. Who knows? Um, but, you know, I guess it's just whatever at the end of the day. So, hey, you guys liked it. Uh, let me know how, if you guys liked it. Let me guys. Uh, let me know if you guys didn't like it. What did you guys not like about it? What did you guys liked about it? And uh, let me know what your guys' favorite episode was, or your favorite scene, or or whatever. Uh, and in fact, my favorite episode was 
probably uh, besides the one with uh, Kirito returning and literally kicking, uh, killing the or no turning the uh, do uh, turning the uh, uh, laughing coughing leader into a fucking cedar tree. That was the best fucking scene and literally fucking all of anime. The big fucking bad guy or the big murderous bad guy from the evil clan gets turned into a cedar tree. He has to like be there for fucking ever. Or well, just the fact that him uh, and uh, their leader is dead. Um, and I seriously fucking enjoyed that scene with his little sister and all the fucking people that he's killed, dragging him down to the hell where he belongs. That was an amazing scene. And I fucking loved it. But besides that, I enjoyed it. So again, let me know. So, and other than that, I'll see you guys. Peace out. Bye-bye.